My name is Peter Weston, and I would like to share with you an efficient way to tie my knot when extracorporeal knot tying is indicated during endoscopic surgery. The knot can also be used at other surgeries. Only two knotting terms will be used. The standing part. This is a stationary section around which the knot is created. The other term is the end, which is manipulated to create the knot. The following images should be looked upon as a smooth continuum and not as discrete steps. Please also note that the end is firmly secured at all times as it is manipulated between the fingers of the right hand. In this and the following images, the standing part is white and the end is shaded. The needle, which was attached to the end, is removed. The standing part is held against the palm of the left hand with the acutely flexed fourth and fifth fingers. The thread passes around the posterior aspect of the thumb, which is pointing vertically. The end passes over the palmar surface of the third, fourth and fifth fingers of the right hand and is held by the thumb and index finger. The end is passed around the thumb of the left hand, thereby creating two parallel strands. The right, third and fourth fingers pass between the two strands. The third and fourth fingers of the right hand have been passed underneath the standing part and the third finger is flexed. The end is placed between the third and fourth fingers and is released by the thumb and index finger. The right hand is withdrawn and pronated at the same time with the end being brought through by the third and fourth fingers. The end is about to be held between the thumb and the third finger. Only then will the end be released by the third and fourth fingers. The end is now held by the thumb and the third finger. The index finger is extended and will be passed between the two strands that are exiting the endoscopic cannula. The flexed index finger is about to hook the end that is being held by the thumb and the third finger. The end is hooked by the right index finger and brought through the gap between the end and the standing part. As this process is taking place, the hand is partially supinated. The thread is released by the thumb and third finger and will be held by the index finger and thumb. The end is now held by the thumb and index finger of the right hand. The index and middle fingers of the left hand are extended and point upwards. The end is placed between them and is released by the right hand. The end held between the index and the third fingers of the left hand is rotated underneath the strands coming from the endoscopic cannula. The arrow shows that the left index finger will be brought against the thumb. The suture is held against the left thumb with the index finger. The arrow shows that the two strands behind the thumb are about to be grasped by the right thumb and index finger and pulled over the thumb. 
This shows the two strands that were behind the left thumb have been pulled over the thumb. The left thumb and the index finger pass the end through the loop. The end is grasped by the right thumb and index finger and released by the left hand. The knot is now ready to have traction applied to the standing part so that the knot can pass through the cannula. This short video duplicates the steps just shown. It was slowed down for clarity.